through the week. We are so happy you're here at Coffee in the Quarantine. I'm your host, Robin Wisner, with my lovely co-host, Lee McKenzie, a.k.a. the Church Girl Right. And we're twinsing today. Check I love out. you, the twins. No, this is our birthdays. Our, yes. It's our, it's our, um, we're known and loved, and so are you. We're so glad that you're here. This is um, Proverbs 31 Ministries. It was actually one of those Facebook ads, yeah. you know? I and love it. Thank you so much for my birthday gift. I absolutely yeah. love it. Your birthday gift has mm -hmm. been returned to me now <laughs> twice in the mail. Two it must be really good. Yourself. Is it, is, is it so legal? Good. <laughs> well, I think they're, they're saying that the package is too thick and I have to go directly into the post office to mail it. What do you oh, think I'm mailing right now, people? Gosh. Like, I'm Lee McKenzie. I, I'm not going to mail anything yeah. weird. But you've got, I've got some thick things that I'm sending you and they're like, <laughs> this isn't working for us. Like, <laughs> you just need to come out here and see me. I, I think know. I need to bring it to you directly. <laughs> Heaven's sakes. Well, welcome, everybody. We're so glad you're here. Oh, I'm so proud of Amanda. She's already uh, let us know yes. that she's here. Hello, Kim Sieber. We're glad I that you're here. Too. Her live. Super yes. excited. You lost the team. Um, let us know where you are, uh, where you're watching from this morning. Oh, hello, Miss Tracy. You guys, we hello, have ladies. such a big, a big show for you today, and we are so so very excited. Um, drop us an emoji how you're feeling today. Right now, I'm I'm in the, eh, eh, that's where I am today. If I would be dropping an emoji, it would just be a emoji. How's yes. that? What about yes. you, Robin? I, you know, that is the good thing about friendships and girlfriends because most of the time we're not both down at the same time or both up at the same time, right? We lift each yeah. other up. So can I, can I share a little bit about what's going on today, Lee? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all right. Okay. All right. We're all <laughs> friends here, ladies. We're all friends. And, you know, we all love Lee so much. And so just so you know, she's dealing with a little bit of vertigo. And so, uh, and she's, as you know, she is in almost in the final parts of publishing her book, of writing her book. And so um, if you would just take a moment and pray for her, pray for our show today, but pray for her over this vertigo, um, that it would just be gone and um, that you would just protect her time around finishing this really important book um, that we know is going to change lives. And not only that, it's just been so therapeutic for you and for everyone who's just seen little yeah. bits of it, right? So we just appreciate your prayers for her health and just protection over her and her family during this time. Um, and so if you see her holding her head or anything like that, you know, she's just trying to stop the spinny spinny. Yeah. The bit, I've got I've got a really major case of vertigo. So I'm trying to like just keep my eyes forward and not if I tilt my head. If I yeah. if you see me spin off, just keep she's, going. I'll she's, not drunk. she's not drunk. <laughs> And I love you for coming on the show anyway, because most people would be in bed right now. So. Uh, I, Robin, uh, I would never abandon you. I love you uh, so much. And truly, this show is just making, we, we're realizing this show is just making such an impact in women's lives. And that's, we are here to be servants of the King. We are here to be servants of God himself. And so we are just praying, how can we serve you best? It is so good to see you all coming on here. I hey, Charlotte, I'm so glad you would come back and join us. <laughs> That is one of our, our new friends. Tracy's here. Stacy's here. Amanda, all right. We love you so much. Thank you for praying. It means the world because we know that our prayers can change everything, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, Amen. Sissy, My watch what's party's going on? Started. You got watch <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to be distracted. I'm listening. I'm trying to get my watch party started Thanks, here. Thank you. So. Yes. Yeah, and don't, and don't forget, if, if you would, we would love, love, love it if you would consider sharing this broadcast today because, oh my goodness, and the watch party you can go and do later, but if you stay here, um, just stay here, just share share the broadcast so that um, others can come along and join you. We're talking today with one of our, we have, we're fangirls. We're such yeah, fangirls. We are um, totally fangirls. this person. Yeah. Robin, talk, do the intro for it because okay, I just well, love this woman. Okay. Yeah. So we just love you all so much. And we're so thankful that you keep coming back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we're so grateful for just the amazing women in our circle 
who um, have just encouraged and inspired us with their small business or their journey or whatever it is. And so um, we are, are really delighted that we can bring on uh, small business owners and friends every week. And we hope, give us, a, give us some hearts there if you're loving the guest speakers, because I know Lee and I, you know. <laughs> this year, I'm doing this. Okay, I'm going to do some. Some I mean, I know that we're pretty entertaining, but three times a week, you know, so we like <laughs> to bring our guest on. So you heard us. Um, are we ready to bring her on now? Already? I don't know. Well, we'll give her a little, we'll give her a couple more minutes. Wait and tell you who it is. Yeah. We'll give her a couple more minutes because we have other things we need to announce. Yes. Um, of, cor of course, the giveaway. This is birthday month. What is today? Oh, today's the 13th. Who has a birthday this month? Who else has a birthday this month? I know Mandy has one. Mandy, Mandy does. Yeah. <laughs> Who else does? I love it, you guys. Who else? Honestly, Lisa's got it. Lisa's coming up. May is just a great month. So this is our giveaway month. If you're our first time here, welcome. And we're doing giveaways all month because it's our birthday month and because we love you. And we have lots of favorite products and, and companies that are willing to donate things to um, give away. So we've got... Oh, we need to get, this is from a Dornco small business owner started her business yeah. during the quarantine so we're hoping to have her on we're giving uh, away these earrings I'm wearing mine I'm wearing my other ones too oh. um, we have babe lash for naturally growing out those lashes we love you babe lash we love uh, you what else yes, do we, we have we gave away we gave away a buff and a facial thing and some coffee. We have um, for my Fredericksburg ladies. Don't forget to join. We've got some coffee from Agora downtown. Uh, what else do we have, Lee? There's a lot. I can't. What, what's wrong with me? I can't remember. Like we have so many things that we're, we're giving things. away. We're going to be giving away a uh, silk and sonder. Let me show the picture. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Silk and sonder. Silk and sonder. A June. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite planner. I have been yeah. using that planner hey, like crazy. Hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, Isn't hey. it amazing? Oh my gosh, it is like. Absolutely incredible. Oh, can I share? I'm sorry. Go, yeah, go sure, yeah. sure. Can I sure. share a little favorite thing that I got? So I love my Silk and Sonder, um, and it has different pages in it for different things, setting your goals and you know your aspirations. There's a different theme every month. Mm -hmm. And I read a lot of books. Who here loves books? I love paper books. And are you are you a dog ear person or a bookmark person? Dog ear a hundred times. I love <laughs> My books are like um, Pendleton Bear, right? They're very loved and worn and written in. Um, and so, but anyway, I got on Amazon these little magnetic, oops. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just dropped it. Little magnetic page things. I got like yeah. 30 of them for, I don't know, $6. And they're just really cute because, can you see? That way you don't have to dog ear your pages anymore. It just like clips on where you need it. And like it says, uh, it says, love you. I love you. But they're not anything fancy, but they're so cute. I think we should give something like that away. That would be a I fun giveaway. I love those. I think those are you, fantastic. And it, they don't keep your, you can close your book tight mm -hmm. and they're good to go. So. And it looks like the Silk and Sonder from May, which is really I know. Funny. I, I liked like it. it. Yeah. It's just so. Uh, yeah, yes. Katie's like silk hey, and did you get one? Yeah, our friend Julie, she just she, she said she was researching planners and it popped up and she checked it out and sent it to me and I just instantly was like, I must have it. So we love silk and so sonder. Cool. Yeah, Hopefully we're gonna get Charlotte's a bookmark girl. Bookmark. So <laughs> My I grandmother was that way. It was like, you have to respect your books. You don't mark them up. You don't do anything like that. So hey, I Betsy. I love having, I love doing dog ears because if it's a really good page, I will dog ear the page, like a little itty bitty one. I don't dog ear it for where I'm at in the book. I just dog ear it. Yeah. like, that was awesome. And then yeah. I'll put like a little star and pencil by it. I was a librarian. I shouldn't be doing that. You were a should librarian? Gosh, well, for two years I was. I love you. Gosh. Yeah. At a Catholic I school. I was the loudest librarian <laughs> at a Catholic school. You can never be imagined. Why do I, I believe that? Was, <laughs> the kids used to come in. We had like push-up contests. We had coloring contests. I was I was more of a counselor than a librarian, but I could find a book for you. <laughs> awesome. I love books so much. Oh, so good. Awesome. So let's see. Okay, so the giveaway. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Again, it's cumulative. So um, your name stays in the bucket, and we'll tell you at the end the five ways to win. So stay tuned for that. 
but um, keep keep putting your entries in, and every Monday we'll announce a winner from the previous week. Um, what other announcements? <laughs> to, uh, Friday, not tomorrow. Friday. 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 We're gonna have um, a very good friend of mine and a fan mm -hmm. from our page, Nicole Hahn or Nikki, as people who know call her. She mm -hmm. is an amazing friend of mine. Um, she leads worship. She's a local photographer, and she's been talking about just a spiritualness of making bread during the co the um, quarantine, which is, it sounds crazy, but um, I, I can't wait to have her on and talk about that. And just, she's mom in it. She's got young kids at home and she's still trying to work from home. And so just talk about, um, talk about that. I bet she'll share her bread recipe too. And then she's just a beautiful soul too. I mean, she, she is. Just is. She really is. So yeah. you will be blessed by seeing Nikki this week. Absolutely. And then we have another announcement. Lee, do you Ooh, want to share okay. it? Okay. I got to stop looking side to side because I just got yeah. dizzy again. Okay. All right. So just hold your head like this. Yeah, I know. I'm like holding my head so the room doesn't spin. Um, so what's really, really cool is I had the opportunity to talk with my friend, our friend, uh, Dr. Michelle Novotny, and she said she would be happy to come back on the show and really talk a little bit more about children and anxiety. And so I am really, really excited. If you have grandchildren, if you have children, if you work with students, uh, this is, or if you know people that work with students, this is the time that you're gonna like, you're gonna wanna share when we have Michelle back on mm -hmm. with pastors of student ministry, you're gonna wanna share it with people that you know are teachers. Uh, you're going to want to share it with friends that you know have kids or grandkids. So basically, you're going to want to share it with everybody because Michelle's going to come back on and really give us some great, as she did last Friday, some yeah. incredible insight to how we can help our children during this time. Um, I, you know, I, she's been such a blessing to me and my life. You have no idea. Mm. And I know, like Charlotte's out there. Um, April, there's another April that's out there. April, April Glassman and. Ladies, you just you just write down there. You tell them what an impactful, incredible woman yeah. and thought thought leader that Michelle is. She will she will give us more insight uh, in an hour than I think. I think she's given me more insight in the last seven months that I've known her and been working with her than in my previous forty eight years. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're really excited. Um, yes. And if you have questions that you want asked of, um, of Michelle, where your students or where your children are concerned. I, we'd love to gather those in so that mm -hmm. we can be proactive and ask her ahead of time. She can think about them and then we can um, have them all answered just for Should we have them send like a direct message on our page maybe so we can save them that way? Yeah, you can either send it direct message on the page or um, yeah, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Right, Robin? Yeah, yeah I think I so. Think that way we'll, we'll have them all in one place. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so grateful, so, so grateful for so many women that um, are just coming around and we're just supporting each other, we especially need it right now. And oh my Wait, gosh, hold on, everybody. <laughs> Katie and April, we had them on two weeks ago oh to talk God. about their entire thing through quarantine, how they've been walking and praying. Robin, do you see that? I need to do a little dance for you guys. Woo, woo. I can't, can't dance too we quickly. Do I'm keeping it in the <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be coffee, 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 drink, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> oh, that's amazing, ladies! Congratulations, Katie, Katie and April oh. just hit 225 miles today amazing. in the quarantine of walking. I really think you guys need to write a book about your journey. Write a book, seriously. So wonderful. You guys are so inspired, oh, incredible, yeah. so amazing. I'm so proud of you guys. Uh -uh. Uh, and Sarah, good morning, Sarah. I hope we're in your office right now, hanging out with you at work. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Charlotte, I have that book. Charlotte, okay, so Charlotte Walker is telling, talking about Michelle Novotny. Oh gosh, I just got really dizzy. <laughs> careful, careful. And she is, she was uh, Charlotte's professor when she was in school and they wrote a book together when she was a student. And you also wrote music together as well that yeah. goes with the book that, she sent to me for my healing. So Charlotte, God bless you. Thank you for that. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Ah. 
Yeah, if, if you guys, you know, if there's um, topics that you wanna hear us talk about, oh, I'm sorry, we're, we're like a squirrel because the, the <laughs> comments are like 30 seconds behind us. And so I just saw Mandy, she said she got motivated to row yesterday. Katie, that's thanks to you in April, motivated when she saw your pics from the walk. Look at you guys. Yay. Put it up on the page. Yes. At, okay, all it took was like your amazing photographs and yes. Amanda's like rowing. Amanda, you better like post you rowing, girl. Yes. Do a little boomerang. <laughs> yes. We need we need that that movement. Yeah. Speaking Sweet. of Sweet. speaking of, we are so beyond excited to uh, welcome our guest today, Tracy Sider, who um, I'll read her bio in a minute, but I just wanna gush on her for a minute. I, th I think we met on Instagram initially and mm -hmm. she um, focuses on helping women in perimenopause and menopause, which by the way, is something that we just don't talk enough about. And she just blew my mind with the information she shared there and on her page, her Facebook page, um, wow. I mean, you think you know about this stuff, but there's so much that yeah. your doctor doesn't tell you that you have to figure out by yourself. And, um, personally, I mean, she's just made such an impact on me. I've shared here, we talk about her all the time, but I, I have, I have scoliosis. Um, you know, I've ha been having, I have degenerative discs in my lower back and I've had, you know, just all kinds of posture issues and, and, um, I've done it all, physical therapy, chiropractic, dry needling, acupuncture, right. all that kind of stuff, never lasts until I met Tracy and literally mm -hmm. we did it over Zoom. And mm -hmm. I tell you the truth when I say that now at 55, I my body feels so much better than it has, you know, since before I started having this pain. And then I referred Lee to her and mm -hmm. she's been helping both of us. And so we're super excited super excited to share her with you and so i'm going to read her bio to you i'll leave the bottom part tracy for you to talk about your background but she's she's a movement coach on a mission to help perimenopausal women and menopausal women lose the body aches belly and even sneeze pee give us a thumbs up if you know what a sneeze pee is but her whole body whole life approach to movement will help you look and feel awesome through your third age, which I love that. It starts in the Me 40s. Too. Actually, I'm talking to some people, I think it starts like 35 for some nowadays. Uh, mm -hmm. Without spending hours at the gym, doing endless Kegels, or worrying that you are not aging well. And let me tell you, any of my clients that are having these issues, I am quick to refer them to Tracy. She's amazing. And we so let me go ahead and bring her on. I'm going to hide Lee and add Tracy. So we have a little Tracy sandwich here. And three, two, one, there she goes. Let me unmute her. And hi. Sandwich. Hi. <laughs> high five. Wait, high five. We love you. Welcome, <laughs> Tracy. We're so glad to have you here. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. I just love following your show. And truly, the highlight of, of 2020 for me it has been meeting you two Aww. inspiring and awesome ladies. Really, Aww. you bring so much joy and insight. And it's just, I just love, I always say, I heart Mark Zuckerberg because I just love how the internet has been able to is able to bring the like-minded and like-spirited people oh. together from all over the world and i'm just so thankful that, for that i mean imagine what this COVID situation would have been like without the internet and it's so interesting because you know i learned spiritually i'm actually a modern orthodox jew um and i i come from a very secular background so i'm what's called a belt shiva in other words i became observant later in life, you know, through the hard knocks. <laughs> um, but um, so we learn that the cure comes before the disease. Mm, right? I love so that. I just love that, that the internet is here, is here for us because imagine <laughs> being stuck at home. I mean, I'm perimenopausal mom, I'm 50. I've got three kids, 17, 14, and eight, and um, you know what? <laughs> we we are having a privileged quarantine. Being I'm South African, if mm. the, that's the accent. We've been in Canada for eleven years, 
But when I speak to my friends and family in South Africa, we we have no idea what a privileged quarantine we're having, and we can really be grateful mm. for that as so well. Exciting. I mean, I complain endlessly about the homeschooling, mostly because my eight-year-old is just not interested, and I'm expected to keep her, you know, on par and on grade, and not happening. <laughs> It's hard, yeah. isn't it? It's so hard. Whew. Well, we are so privileged and thrilled yeah. that you would come on and be here with us, Tracy. And you know we fangirl about you all the time. <laughs> oh, here. There you Tracy, go. Tracy, this is Tracy that. Share this. Share this. That's <laughs> right. You, so you're you're in um Toronto, is that right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So what is it like for you going through the, the quarantine there right now? And you hear us talk about it here in the US all the time. Is it different for you? Um, I think largely it's the same in terms of the fact that we're just at home, you know, mm -hmm. eating, watching Netflix. Yeah. My kids have turned into these nocturnal creatures. I mean, I barely see them. They're like, you know, come out of their room at some point to eat and then they go. <laughs> That's funny. They're little modern day zombies. Yes. <laughs> Um, I wish they were using their time better, but you know what, yeah. teenagers, I suppose we've got to um, cut them some slack. Right, right. They need to deal with it in, in whatever way they, they need to deal with it. And Absolutely. they're having this whole online social life that starts at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. My son is my son's doing the same thing. Is Billy doing the same thing too, Robin? I feel yes, like there's like yeah. after midnight social life for the teenagers. I'm like, we have is a, there anything have, happening that's good? <laughs> yeah, we have a family dinner and we watch like about an hour of TV and then Phil and I go to bed and then that's when his night starts. <laughs> so. That's Julian too. Oh my gosh. It's these teen kids. I keep making Bella go to bed with like yep, she has to go to bed when we go to bed, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> And the girls have I I don't know if anybody out there has got teenage girls. They've they've got this new thing where they've put like these strip lights across mm. the wall and so like I walk into their room and it's like purple. Yeah, uh, yeah Bella has that. Okay, so that, that's happening in Canada too, because Bella's got the LED lights and it's on this like hazy purple. And I'm like, you're you're 12. What's going on here? So weird. I want that in my room though. Yeah. I love a nightclub. <laughs> just concerting. Yeah, she was the one that like projects stars on the ceiling. Like, I don't like. Oh You're, my goodness. Yeah, are, am I clubbing? <laughs> my twelve-year-old's room. <laughs> I'm so glad you mentioned that because I was like, um, yeah, this, my kids. Been <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, I don't know what strange behaviors are are all of your kids having these days. I mean, yeah. turning the lights or what? Tell, tell, let Gaming it, after midnight. Nothing. Tell us, are your kids, yeah, are your kids nocturnal now and doing okay, strange things? Okay, good. Vicky, thank you, Vicky. I love you. Vicky is my friend. Uh, we're on a launch team together for a book. Vicky, thank you so much. You're making me feel much more normal. It's a nightclub <laughs> from the road. <laughs> Quarantine nightclub. Party of one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, you know, you got to give them some slack. We're all just trying to do the best that we can, you know, and including sometimes with, uh, you know, our snacking or whatever. It's like, it's a lot right now. We have to give ourselves some grace. Yeah, sure. totally. And definitely got to give our kids some grace. Oh, yeah. We're all, we're all, what, what was it? Um, Michelle said, we're all, we're all in the same storm, just in different boats. <laughs> yes. I shared that with my husband the other day. He's like, wow, that's so true. We're all in the same storm. We're not all in the same boat. And we just yeah. have to give everybody a lot more grace, including in our own families. Our kids are yeah. not experiencing exactly the same way that, you know, the parents are. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. So, so Tracy, tell us a little bit about how you um, came to this amazing, um, you know, cure or this amazing service that you provide. <laughs> I call it a cure for sure. <laughs> I, I call myself a movement coach. Yeah. largely because I don't know what else to call myself. Mm -hmm. um, what what I offer is it's very experiential. It makes it very hard to tell people what it is that I do, which is why <laughs> um, I offer a free half hour session uh, that people can look into on my website mm -hmm. because I can tell you what I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not a physio. 
Uh, it's not yoga, although I am a certified yoga teacher and it's not Pilates, but it is kind of a mix of all of that. Um, because what we are looking at is kind of, I suppose, like pre-exercise exercise. Would you say that, Robin? Mm -hmm. Is that we we going we going back? Um, and instead of me just giving exercises, we are trying to get the body back to a more neutral position uh, because our bones have shifted. We have an idea of what good posture is, but that messes up our alignment. And then we, we have all these muscle imbalances. Our bodies no longer actually know how to move and function because we are actually largely a sedentary environment. Even, unfortunately, even if you are ticking off the exercise box and going to the gym or running a couple of times mm -hmm. a week, the average person who exercise maybe five, five times a week, four, five times a week for like 60 to 90 minutes, that means they're only moving 4% of the time. And yeah, if you look at 4% of the time, so I was, before I, got, I became a movement coach, I was um, an English language editor. Um, and I edited academic journals. And wow. I was, I was, no wonder I love you so much. I'm not a word person. You have so many talents, you have no idea. <laughs> and um, I, I really wasn't enjoying it. It was, it was too sedentary for me. I was also... Um, I also did layout and design. So I've got a, I, um, I have a journalism and media politics and economics degree. And so I had like mixed that all up and, and I, I had this business in South Africa where I was editing academic journals and I was doing the, the layout and, and kind of the graphic design as well for that, the book layout. But, but I was still, I started yoga when I was 15. So I was, before it was like trendy, <laughs> my friends thought I was bizarre. Uh, but I actually started because of the anxiety. My mom's friend actually took me with her to yoga because I was so anxious. Anyway, another story. But, um, uh, but so, so I would exercise a couple of times a week. I would sit all day, right? As we all do sitting in traffic, driving the kids to wherever, sitting on the couch, sitting while I watch TV, sitting while I worked. But that was, but it was fine. It was fine because I exercised five times a week and I would kill it at the gym. So what could possibly go wrong, okay? <laughs> what we don't realize is that we think that there are these two categories, active and sedentary, right? Mm -hmm. But actually a third category, category and this is what I came to learn and I'll backtrack to that story and that is where most of us fit and that is the actively sedentary category mm -hmm. that's the person who's chair sitting okay that's an important distinction to make because it's not that we mustn't sit I don't want people to just now get a standing desk and stand all day that's the sedentary mm -hmm. way it's that we are sitting in this 90 degrees at the hips and 90 degrees at the knees for hours and hours and hours and years and years and years and that lands up changing the whole shape of our body yeah or everything changes. We become like if you have had your arm in a sling, if you've broken a bone or something, when that arm comes out the sling, you don't just have full range of motion anymore. Mm -hmm. you know, the tissues have adapted to make it comfortable for you to keep that arm in the sling. And the same thing, because we've been chair sitting for so many hours and so many years, our bodies have adapted to having us in this chair sitting position. So that means when we come up to stand and move around and exercise, we think we're lengthened out, we're not. But all these little kinks and things, and that means our brains can't even find our muscles. Um, you know, you, you can be doing like, Everybody knows glutes are great. Glutes are awesome for the pelvic floor, by the way, like amazing. But you can be doing like glute exercises at the gym till the cows come home. But, and that's what I was doing. And that's what I was like, well, how come I, you know, I hit my 40s and I was having just debilitating back pain, hip pain. I had my 32 and like, that's when the wheels really fell off. Then, then the leaking came then the pelvic floor tightness came and i was like how can this be happening to me <laughs> i'm taking yeah. the boxes but um so yeah i mean 
I remember one year, my, my husband was taking my older girls to South Africa to visit the grandparents. And I said to him, I actually can't come with. It was, it was, the pain was affecting my life, as I'm sure mm. it affects your life too. I'm like, I haven't seen my father in three years, but I can't, there is no ways I can sit on an airplane for 18 hours. I will not be able to make it. And so I had to, I had to leave it. I, I couldn't go with. But um, but at the same time, I was still, as you said, Robin, doing everything I knew could, yeah. I could do. I was on this constant cycle of physio, chiropractor, massage, acupuncture. And everybody was doing an amazing job. And I was getting <clears throat> relief. But it was only temporary relief. Yeah. Yeah. And because I didn't know retrospect, I was coming back and I was still moving the same way, sitting the same way, walking the same way. Because as I was saying about the glutes, you can have a glute muscle, you can work the glute, but if your brain can't find that glute while you're walking, which mm -hmm. is a whole other story, and this is where the movement coaching comes in. If your brain can't find that glute, it may as well not even be there. That is so true, Tracy. I finally found my butt. Yeah, me too. Because of you. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I told her I felt like a penguin when I first started walking. I'm like, whoa, what is that? Yeah. Amazing. What is that butt muscle I'm actually right. feeling now? Hi, it's yeah. nice to meet you, butt muscle. I'm <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's completely eye-opening for me. You know, it, it literally changed my life because I was I was getting so down, especially once the pelvic floor stuff started. And also, I didn't realize in retrospect that I was going through perimenopause. Most people don't realize, as you said, Robin, that perimenopause starts early. And we need so much education on that. Mm -hmm. um, and just to tell you, ladies, I have a Facebook group called Perimenopause and Menopause yes. Club, where we're yeah, going to be talking terms. And I've got experts coming in to talk about it. Because the more you know about perimenopause and menopause, the easier it yes. is. And the thing is, our doctors don't. We expect our doctors to work. They do an hour of menopause in the whole of med school. Okay, So we can't rely on them. To, even your gynecologist, like, don't think your gynecologist is up on menopause unless they have done. And perimenopause counts. It starts in your 40s, sometimes even earlier. And mm -hmm. what happens, I see a lot of doctors writing off perimenopausal issues or symptoms as depression, take this, anxiety, take this, thyroid, when it's really iron, all sorts of things going on. So it's really on us to get educated, I've discovered, right? And I just have to say, Tracy Tracy has very real and honest conversations about lady parts and everything in a very, you know, um, medical, respectful, tasteful way. way. <laughs> but seriously, stuff like, oh my gosh, is she really talking about that? Like, I'm <laughs> too embarrassed to even say it right now, but I'll watch it and it really, I mean, so many things I had no idea. Not, that it was had to do yeah. with the hormones and all. I had no idea because you could always connect it to different things. And um, yeah. wow, really, you guys need to check out her page. She's, she's okay. almost like, okay, and er, people are coming commenting because I asked, hey, is anyone sitting around for a long time in a chair? And everyone's like, yeah, I said, I first off, Kim says she needs to find hers as well for the <laughs> backside. And then Sarah says her job is to sit consistently. Ladies, Tracy is like your big sister. Yeah. She's like, not your mom, because your mom would never talk about like lots of these things. Because my mother would be like, I don't know what we're talking about. Like she'd be in complete denial, I'm sure. My mother-in-law would be like, what are we talking about? And so like, let's just let's just get real. Tracy's like your really wise older sister yes. who, you know, it's like you had maybe an older sister who taught you about like how to do your hair and your makeup and your other stuff. But then she also taught you about your girl stuff. Yes. Tracy is that person. Yes. She is a big sister who can tell you and lead you through and let you know this is what's coming up for you because mm -hmm. nobody talks about it. No one does. No one. No she one. brings in experts too, though. She brings in lots of experts. Yeah. Yeah. Love, 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 love. Because for me, I mean, I think I only heard the word perimenopause maybe two years ago. I did. I, I, I thought we got da, 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 you know, yeah. and then suddenly around about 50, your period, <laughs> and then you're old. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how it works, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to go back to my story because I'm I can yeah. go in so many different tangents. I would I love to I love it. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. So 
I, there I was, like around about 43, really suffering and actually getting very, very depressed because this, when you're just in constant pain and discomfort and in the pelvic floor, and what I also didn't realize in retrospect was that I was um, very iron. That's a big thing that I'm going to start talking about um, in, in, in my Facebook group as well. Um, and I was, it was, you know, I was really, really at my lowest. Um, and I didn't know what to do because the doctors were running all sorts of tests on me. Okay, all sorts of tests. And thank God everything was coming back that didn't need medical intervention. Okay. I didn't need a hip replacement. I didn't need, you know, I did not have interstitial cystitis. That was not what was causing the bladder issues. So then what was it? And the doctors were like, well, it's part of getting older. It's part of having children. Basically suck it up. It's normal. Okay. But <laughs> I, I, I can be a bit tenacious and I refuse to believe that this was normal and that I had to suck anything up. I just would not take that as an answer. And so I kept digging and searching and looking. And what's, what's so amazing about life is that when we refuse to accept things, when we put a message out there, like when we put this message out into the universe and to God to like help, help me, I'm not going to accept this. So often the answer comes, but you've got to be ready to hear it, right? You've got to be at the right place to hear it. And one day my massage therapist at the time just happened to say to me, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm following this woman called Katie Bowman. She's, she's a biomechanist and she's got amazing work. You should check her out. And so I could have just gone, yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. But I came home and I went on the internet and I checked her out. And I bought a book called Move Your DNA, which I think you have a copy, right, Robin? Hey, I brought it. I came prepared. <laughs> so awesome. And she blew my mind, okay? Absolutely blew my mind because Katie is this phenomenal biomechanist. She lives in Washington State now. She's from California. And she just has the most incredible way of making, like, dry anatomical scientific physics information just usable and friendly and 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 relevant to our lives so i started she takes a whole body approach and that and that you're not just a sore hip or a sore right. neck or right. a leaky bladder we are a whole body that needs a whole body approach and when clients come to me whether it doesn't matter what they're coming to me with right the first thing to start with is because the feet makes contact with the ground. That's what sets off this whole chain reaction through your body when you're moving, because that's what we are. We aren't just pot plants sitting in the corner. We are moving, we're moving beings. And so these things are happening to our body as we move around. And that's what we need to be looking at. Not this static hip or the static neck. It's 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 the fascia. Everything is connected to everything else. And that's what and, and we have patterns. We have movement patterns that it's the only way that our body knows how to move. And we keep moving into the same pattern. We keep we we keep exercising into the same pattern. Um that we need change, right? We need to change. Something needs to change because if you keep doing the same thing, you're going to keep getting the same result. So I started following Katie's advice, and here's a little movement break. Let's start with a little bit of a movement break. Yay! Yay! With, 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 uh, with Katie's first bit of advice, and that is to try and sit differently. So for everyone, if you want to give this a try, um, we need to give you more room on the screen than just in the middle here. Not yeah, for take, you can take me out right now, Robin, so that okay, you know, I'll take you out, Lee. <laughs> take me out. Angles, but if you're sitting on a chair, mm -hmm. come and sit on the floor. You can see I'm sitting on the floor here. I'm on a yoga bolster. Okay. Can but, I just can I just say though that was that when you showed me that, just that. Well, first of all, when you started talking to me about it, starts with your feet. That completely was just blew my mind because I, I know I was always telling you, I'd been going to the chiropractor and the chiropractor would always say, your ankles are locked up and, and your, you know, your feet are so tight. And here I had support things and support shoes, all that stuff. When we started working on my feet, that changed everything. And then that bolster, I, I, I pretty much only sit in a chair when I'm eating or when I'm doing this show. So, um, yes, yeah. very, very because good. 
you're putting your body in a different geometry mm -hmm. and what the body needs is different it needs different shape and different input all day long not just for the 45 minute yoga class you go to so if 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 i can just give one message out today that can start changing things for you is give yourself permission to be a mover move find different ways to move and weave that into your day and one of the easiest ways to do that is in if there is a choice like i, I have all different types of workstations around my house D don't I, or, or we call it floor sitting but try not to actually sit on the floor because most of us don't have the hamstring length to be able to what's called keep the pelvis neutral and so we land up tucking the pelvis under us which we don't want which is why if you can take um, a cushion, I'm using a yoga bolster um, and I can put a link yeah. to the kind of yoga, yoga bolster that I like, but even a couple of um, couch cushions, something a bit firm to sit on. And instead of sitting on the TV, I mean, on the couch watching TV, you can just really choose to sit on the floor. Instead of sitting on your desk and at your desk and work, you can just as easily choose to sit on the floor for a bit and have your laptop on the coffee table. You don't need to be there all day long, but what we want, it is just even getting up and down off the bolster is we would pay to go to a gym class to do these squats, right? Yes. <laughs> so if you can be working on them all day long, that's what we want and that's the whole kind of theory behind what katie bowman is teaching um which was the first certification i did restorative exercise specialist with her is that we are the same physical makeup as the same dna the same joints you know as human beings were 50 years ago 500 years ago or 5,000 years ago. But we are moving a fraction of the time. We've become exercisers and not movers because when movement is no longer required for our survival. And so we think we just kind of leave it. We're like, oh, so I go to the gym, whatever, I'm doing it. But all day movement, full range of movement, although it's, we no longer need it as modern human beings for our survival, it's not optional. It's not optional, and our bodies, our pain symptoms, and our and our and our pelvic and our women's health symptoms, our bladder and and pelvic floor, and there are also things like diastasis recti, which is the ab separation, core issues, all these things, neck issues. They are the red flags. They are the things that are telling us that we're not moving our bodies the way we should be moving, but. We need a whole system of rehab in order to get that going again. Um, you know, and it starts with it starts with alignment. Um, but then I often have people saying to me, "Yes, but you know, yeah, we we modern creatures, but we've got all these other benefits. We don't have, you know, um, diseases and illnesses that people in more third world countries who are getting more movement have." Okay, granted, yeah, but what we do have are diseases of affluence. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. What we have are diseases of affluence. And just going back to the this um, sedentary and actively sedentary categories, I just forgot to mention something. The, the studies show that those people who are considered sedentary and actively sedentary, they have similar health outcomes. So the person who is going to gym four times a week actually has similar health outcomes to the couch potato. It's quite fascinating. So we want to become all day movers, but often that requires building up certain um, base strength again, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, Robin and I were doing upper body. How's that base strength? Oh, it's, it's great. And it's, you know, I don't know how, like you said, it's very experiential, but it just makes so much sense that you know, the way we move, it starts with our feet, you know, how our feet are, are gripping the, the ground and up the back, you know, like I say, my back hurts, but it's really my calves are tight, right? Mm -hmm. Or my, you know, my knees hurt. Well, it's really my quadriceps and, or your Achilles gets so tight because we sit mm -hmm. and then I'm also hunched over my computer. So my ribs are locked in. I mean, it's, it really is. You can't just address one part. That's why right. what you do is so important. We've worked from the ground up, right? We've done, you know, uh, legs, core taught me how to walk, taught me how to breathe, you know, upper body, unlocking all these things. It's, it's just like magic to me. I really can't believe 
how much my pain has, uh, you know, just diminished. It's crazy. Um, you guys definitely, you owe it to yourself to get at least a 30 minute free session. And Tracy is also giving away a part of our, we forgot to mention that. That was what we forgot to mention, Lee. She's giving away a full, a regular full session. Um, and the things that you can perceive even over Zoom is just blows me away. You see all those little things in me. Yeah. Do you want to go back up, Lee? You want me to add you back in? Okay. She wants to come back. Hold on. <laughs> take her, take her out of uh, quarantine there. She's down below. Let me unmute you. We wanted to give you guys the big reveal here today that Tracy will give. I, I Tracy, you are so generous to give somebody, whoever wins this, you will be so blessed by it. I know that when I did mm -hmm. my first session, I was so shocked that all the ways, you know, cause I've done like, we've been in the military, Robin, they told mm -hmm. us how to stand. They told us, you know, and as a woman, all the ways for all those years that you've been told how to sit, you know, your chest up, <laughs> shoulders back, you know, I've gone, I've done modeling and things like that. And they teach you how to sit, how to stand, where your shoulders and everything should be your feet. And it's like, it's all a lie. It, I mean, it has ruined me. It has ruined my body. Because that's just so around, not and, alignment. And that you taught me that. Alignment for two different things. Completely different things. Yeah. And so, honestly, it's so nice for me to be able to get out of bed now and not have pins and needles on the bottom of my feet. Although I will tell you, I'm not happy that I, I am not wearing heels anymore. I hope you're happy, sorry. Tracy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but you know what? I, I switched to um, minimal shoes and then I got these ones that they're basically like ballet slippers. I don't, I can't even wear my sneakers anymore. And I know some of you are saying, oh, I have horrible feet. I can never do that. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's bone it's issues and all that kind of stuff. But um, I am, because I had told Tracy, I said, when I was a kid, I never had shoes on. I would, they would come out and like, you know how they re, repave the road, the tar and all the rocks. I'd be out there. I had so many calluses on my feet. She was like, Robin, I want you to give yourself permission to do that again. I was like, okay. And it, it helped my back so much. I can't even believe, I mean, I had a lift. I had this, all that stuff. So um, just yeah, incredible. But it's the process of transition, right? I don't want people yeah. to just suddenly like throw away. No, it's very like, gradual. I don't wear them every day when I walk. Yeah. yeah. build the strength to be able to do that again. That's right. We've learned that, haven't we, Tracy? If you're a little too uh, too much of a an overproducer like I am, <laughs> this is not an exercise. This is learning how to train your body so that mm -hmm. one day you can exercise and you mm -hmm. like into your 50s and 60s and 70s you will be able to go for that run or go for that walk or play with your grandchildren or play with your kids, whatever it is. You know, Amanda was saying she has the pins and needles in her right foot. And I know that Katie and April said that they signed up for a free 30 minute with you um, already, I think on Friday. Is that right? Is that right, ladies? Yeah, that's what they said. I saw that, I saw that up, up in the comments, but okay. it, it is so worth, so worth your time. Yeah. It's so worth so worth it to invest. Yeah, in. and, you know, and I would say too, Lee, um, you know, as a, you know, with my um, beach body, the people I help with beach body workout programs and all that, those workouts, that's part of the reason why I started my own lighter weight program because those workouts are great, but they're not a one size fits all. So you have people who are going from couch to crazy yeah. workouts. And now through what I've learned through Tracy, I'm like, wow, you know, some of the, if, you know, if you don't know, if you don't have that alignment and you don't have that awareness and, and really that customization that Tracy gives you. And awareness of what your cheats are. Yes, then you're, you're, you're gonna be doing this whole workout and you're literally just reinforcing, like with me, the, sh the shoulders in the wrong position. So I can be doing this whole workout, but all I'm doing is reinforcing <laughs> poor alignment. So um, that awareness, gosh, especially as we get older, you guys, I do not want to be in a wheelchair. I want to be able to get down on the floor with my grandkids, which the first one is coming in a few weeks. Um, you know, I want to be able to rock that baby and not be in so much pain. I mean, and all those kind of things. So it's just so important to take care of yourself in that way. Ugh. And I think, and I think too, here's the other thing as I've been working with Tracy and what a blessing it has been working with you. Um, We've talked a lot about, I'm on a journey of incredibly deep, deep healing right now in the Lord. And last year, Michelle spoke it over me 
and said, I really believe that the Lord is telling me to tell you that you will be healed on such a deeply profound level. Mm. And that is what that is what my trauma journey has has led me to. And what's really great is that's what led me to Tracy as well as I've been was listening to Robin and I and then I started talking to Tracy. You know, the idea is that we want to be in alignment mm. physically mm -hmm. so that we can run the race until the end. Right. And we want to be in alignment emotionally so that we can handle the things that are coming at us. And we, we've got to we've got to find those great coping mechanisms and the ways that we can be healthier emotionally. Yeah. But then third, spiritually, you know, are we healthy? Are we in alignment with God, the father spiritually? Because mm -hmm. that is vital. I mean, and, and you can't ignore one and like just go, well, I'm only going to do my spiritual stuff. Yeah. Um, and you can't say, oh, I'm just working on the emotions. I'm going to therapy and mm -hmm. ignore everything else. And you also can't just go, well, I'm just going to make my body the best. We are, we are body, soul, mm -hmm. spirit, and we can't ignore one aspect of who we are as we've been created in God. And I think that that's something that Tracy, you've taught me. Yeah. Your, your, your faith has taught me so much about the war that's inside of me. We talked about that yesterday, um, about when you offer the blessing, you know, that it isn't, you know, in Orthodox, um, it is not just, you know, oh, I bless you, shalom, peace be on you. It is like, I want you at the fullest, greatest mm -hmm. healing aspect. Yeah. And uh, you've taught me so, so, so much. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Yeah, we want what's called in Hebrew a refuah shalema, which means a complete recovery. Mm. We want people to recover and be whole in body, mind, and soul because mm. that's what it's about. And I love the way Robin explained that that we that we need to be working through this continuum, working on all three aspects, um, and we are human beings, right? Wouldn't it be wonderful if we were just spirits and angels and we didn't have to worry about anything because God's, God's will was just exposed, you know, but that's not what we are. We're human beings. We are spirits in this human body. Mm -hmm. And two aspects to that, I believe, is the one is that Right, is that we've got to get that body working well again so that we can then focus, you know, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, so yeah. that we can then focus on our emotional and spiritual without worrying about peeing when we sneeze or having back pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> totally. Like into the physical again. You know, you can really be sucked into that and can be very, very depressing, which 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 stops you from then progressing yeah. through the emotional and to the spiritual. Yes. Um, that's the one aspect of it. And then the other aspect of it that I found absolutely beautiful and freeing and releasing to me is that what we also don't realize is that a lot of our pain and memories and anxieties are actually locked in our muscles. Yes. And giving our bodies permission to release that is just so freeing. And that's also part of the work that I do that mm -hmm. it really changed my life but mm -hmm. and which is why I said to my husband when I found Katie's work and I started doing it I was like this is mind-blowing this is exactly what I've been looking for this is what I want to be when I grow up because mm -hmm. I never knew what I want to be I'll just like fall into things you know I just fell into journalism because I wanted to go to this cool university that's <laughs> That's why I became a journalist. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And then when I found this, I was like, yes, this brings together everything that I wanted to do. It's the, yeah. it's the movement. It's the biology. It's the anatomy. Um, it's bringing joy back into people's lives and helping and teaching and helping them to live their best lives. This is exactly what I want to do. And I was so excited about it. Um, I said to my husband, please, please let me go and train with Kelly Bowen. So I went and did um, the, the first course, which was the Move Your DNA course. And the course was amazing and I loved it. It was run by a local restorative exercise specialist in Toronto and it was just Oh, it was amazing. Then the end of the course uh, it was a weekend course. It, you know, she was talking to all of us. And then she started telling us about how 
Katie's not doing certifications anymore. And I was like, <laughs> I could not believe it. Here I was at 45. I had finally found what I wanted to do. The answers had come to me. I was so happy. I could see this whole beautiful life ahead of me. Mm -hmm. All my things had been answered because all I wanted to do was just, I was just hating the editing so much. And now I got this news that Katie was not doing certifications anymore. And and this is this is um, you know quite emotional for me. I've never shared this publicly before. I went back to my hotel room and I just sobbed. I just absolutely sobbed. I was like, how can I be so close and yet so far? Like, how can this be happening to me? I was just absolutely devastated because all I wanted to do was go and train with Katie because she is the she is the pinnacle. If there's anybody out there in the movement world who knows about her, she is unbelievable, the most brilliant woman. And I was just devastated. I was absolutely devastated. And I was I was alone in this hotel room. I wasn't staying at home for the course. And I just, you know that like ugly, soul-wrenching, just like, cry, <laughs> cry, right? And, and I was, it was, it was, it was like a really, really low point for me. And I just, I just cried out to God. I just cried out to God. I was like, you have to help me. You have mm. to help me. I like really, really cried out. And, um, and then I, I spoke to Petra who was running the course and I was like, I really want to do this. What, what do I do? I'm like, I'm devastated after, you know, after I had my whole crying session. And she's like, well, you know, call them. Like the course is closed, but maybe they'll let you join. So, uh, so I called them and I made this whole case <laughs> about how pleased they must let me on the course. The course had already started a two-year course and it had already been going for six months. And they said to me, well, yeah, I don't know. Then I said, okay, well, you can start now, but you have to be caught up on the whole year's work in two months. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I had like a two-year-old kid, and I'm like, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Okay? And, and, I, and, and, and I did it. And I did it. And um, I'm just so thankful. And I was probably one of the last people to be able to be trained by Katie. And, you know, and then that's taken me on to other things. But I suppose, like, one of the reasons why I wanted to share this story with you is that, and, and how it relates to COVID, is that, well, I believe <laughs> that, um, you know, the, we have free will, right? We, we have free will. We human beings, we have free will. Uh, but at the same time, God controls everything, right? God controls everything. The only thing that God doesn't control is our relationship with him. That is 100% on us. And that is, that, that is, I suppose, the only free will we have is how we love and connect to God. God can't do that for us. And... Um, and when we when we cry out, when we ask for help, sometimes the answer is no, <laughs> and that's fine too. But but just that whole like I know it's just been Passover. Okay, this is going a little bit on a tangent. And I love reading in the Seder how you know how the Jews were slaves for two hundred years, and what changed? What suddenly changed that they were saved? What changes is that you read in in that in that Haggadah, in that book that you go through, it said, and they cried out to God, and God heard them. And I'm doing a lot of that over COVID now. I am talking to God, and I'm crying out to God, and all we can, we've been put in these houses, we have so little distraction, and I'm trying to use this as an opportunity to just work on my on my relationship with God not what hey God what can you do for me mm. so. amen preach sister preach yeah it. preach it Tracy oh so good in the <laughs> comments here people are saying you're such an inspiration 
Whew. So, so good. I'm so grateful you came into my life and I'm so glad that I get to get to share you with other people. It's just, um, I think that was a God appointed um, friendship there, you know, because what are the odds? I'm on the internet and we found each other. I don't even remember quite how. And I was like, wow. And you're hilarious too. If you guys <laughs> follow her, her she has the fabulous. best sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, she's got some good, <laughs> sweet yeah. memes, doesn't she? You can that. joke about menopause. Like, hey, you're a friend in my book. So <laughs> yeah. And I think, I think, you know, just to wrap it all up too. I mean, we need a tribe. You need a tribe as yeah. you're going through since nobody's charted the path really i mean there have been some that have charted the path but really you want sisters arm in arm with you as we're going into this what they're calling the third age and i yes. love i love this idea that i would have sisters who love god like i do who are seeking god like i do and you know so if you're if you're up for it and you're you're approaching you know maybe the that this age for the third age go over and Tracy's going to share her uh, link at maybe at the end of this broadcast or maybe on our page. And uh, that way you can get all sorts of information from not only Tracy, but the experts that she brings on. And mm -hmm. you don't have to feel like you're alone in this. I think that is, I know that that's one of my messages that God has given me is that you mm -hmm. are not alone. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to walk this alone. Don't walk it alone. You know, Christ is, you know, for us, Christ is always with us. He always, he, Father never leaves or forsakes us. And guess what? If you got sisters, you got battle buddies. Robin mm -hmm. is my battle buddy. We can be your battle buddies. Yeah. Come on, girl. Let's preach another one. <laughs> don't do it alone. It is not good to go to war alone. You always, always have a, someone who's got your back. And this is not that the third age is war, but it's such an uncertain time and you can get basic training where you don't have to figure it out by yourself. And, and I also love the fact that it's the change. I think us women have been given an absolute gift, like menopause, perimenopause. Also, it starts much earlier than you think, right? So in, if you're in your forties, you want to don't think, oh, this doesn't concern me <laughs> like I did. It's coming. <laughs> the body is changing there's no way around it you can't yeah. pretend it's not happening you know and men don't get this gift mm -hmm. because the body is changing the estrogen levels are changing and it is this, this is such an opportunity it can be it can be viewed as like the worst thing ever that's happening and it can be completely catastrophized or you can embrace it and 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 go with the change and grow into like for me it was perfect that this whole career change from editor to movement coach mm -hmm. happened um and and i just took it and i ran with it um and you know this is our opportunity they also say because the estrogen levels are dropping through perimenopause and menopause that we 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 have like less of a oh, what people are going to think of me kind of thing yeah. <laughs> and so we we it's an opportunity to really um become the truest expression of who you are and what you want to be and yeah. and what's also interesting when i heard this for the first time and it's, it sounds totally obvious but it kind of like just hit me we're going to be spending a third of our lives yeah. post menopause. That's a lot of time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you know, we, we, it's kind of been made out to be this terrible time, and like once you're past childbearing ages, mm -hmm. you know, just, and that's just not true. And that's why, Tracy, you made me feel brave and kind of like, no, we need to redefine this mm -hmm. third age, this third season. That's why, you know, in my, my program, I work with women that are in that stage because we reach that age where we have to figure out, like, hey, like you said, we start worrying less about what people think about us. And it's trying to figure out, like, it's another identity crisis. I mean, talk about midlife crisis, but it's really like, what do I want out of this third season? That is a lot of time. And how do I want that to look? And there's so much that we can control. We can't control that our body ages you know, but we can control um, so much about how we experience that third season. If we take care of ourselves, it's, it's, it's alignment. And, and you can't, like we've said before, you can't leave any part out. It is the physical alignment. It is the spiritual alignment. It's the emotional alignment, um, you know, and that might seem overwhelming, but girls, like, it's, you're not just a one dimensional being. And so we, we have to take care of ourselves. 
such a beautiful this has been such a beautiful yes. conversation today yeah. and if you guys yeah. if you guys are loving it show it down below um let us tag know a friend thoughts, tag mm -hmm. friends tag your sisters tag your mm -hmm. best friends tag your enemies i mean yeah. tag whoever because <laughs> no one should have to do this alone mm -hmm. it is it, it's so much better when we do this in fellowship and you know that's mm -hmm. why I, I have always loved coffee in the quarantine robin that you created this because we there's always room around our table if you're drinking tea water coffee whatever lemonade <laughs> lemonade with lilacs in it like our friend man is making today you know whatever it is you know there's always room here and we're here for real conversations mm -hmm. we're here for hard conversations even the ones that we're sitting there going oh my gosh like you know monday's conversation and we just want to be here for you yeah. and serve you the very Absolutely. best way that we can so tracy thank you you've been like such a blessing for us such an yes. awesome, right. Amanda, such an awesome talk day, wasn't it? So yes. Okay. And and you will come back again, Tracy, maybe? maybe? Oh, I'd love to come back again. I'd love to come back again. Give us some love. If you'd like to have Tracy come on and do maybe some breathing. We could all work improve with some breathing or whatever it is. That would be awesome. <laughs> Stacy Stacy said she's drinking diet mountain Dew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Only in the quarantine. <laughs> Only in the quarantine. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, wow. thank you, Tracy, so much. You've been a blessing oh. to us beyond, beyond. Thank you for having me. Oh, thanks for the scripture. Oh, you know, you know. Oh. And I just love how you are not, how you, you know, how you own it and you get like right into those difficult topics. It's just, it's, Wonderful. Well, you've helped make me brave in that area as well, Tracy. Your bathroom talks are very good. <laughs> <laughs> she, well, well, literally, she goes and hides in the bathroom to do her lives. <laughs> I have a segment called Conversations from the Bathroom During Crazy Times. <laughs> it's awesome. awesome. You guys got to check her out. Oh, you guys. Oh, well, we've gone a little bit long. Thank you all for all hanging right. on. Are we ready to close this out? Yeah, thank you all for hanging on. Are we ready to close this out? Sadly, sadly, you want to stay on with us, Tracy? Good. Okay, prayer. great. Are we um, going to do a Tracy sandwich for prayer? Yeah, that Tracy, sounds good. Cool with that? Okay. Good. Right. Okay. Do you want to start? I'll start because I have. Um, I just saw in the feed that there is a uh, prayer request, so okay. I will start with that. Okay. Uh, all right. Here we go. Um, Oh, Father, you are the great and unsearchable God. And yet we know that when we call on you, that you are right there, that you will hear us and that you'll answer us. And we praise you for that, God. Thank you for sisters today that you've provided for us. Thank you for loving us and caring for us the way that you do. Thank you for wisdom and um, big sisters who can help light the path for us as we are walking through times that are uncertain, times that we just don't know anything about. And Father, I am just so grateful for my sisters here, for Tracy and the wisdom, oh my gosh, her in incredible experience and her knowledge that she has on, um, on what, what's ahead for me, I'm stepping into it. And so I just praise you, God, for that. Thank you, I pray that you would just blessings over her home mm -hmm. and over her ministry right now and this movement ministry. Lord God, I'm just praising you and thanking you for Robin, my sister, my battle buddy. Uh, she's my girl in arms here, Father, that I don't have to do, do this alone. And Father, that we don't have to do this alone. We can be here together and help lead one another through whatever storms that are happening around us. God, I'm praying for Kira right now, Dr. Kira Bainham. She just went in for emergency eye surgery. Lord, would you please guide the doctor's hands? I pray that you would uh, give them just incredible heavenly spiritual direction as they are working on her and that you would care for her and minister to her and to her family. Praying for Denise as she is, um, you know, is probably attending right now and praying for her sister. Uh, watch over that, Lord. I know that you are in the intimate details of everything. Mm -hmm. Father God, um, work with us today as we walk with you today. Guide us, show us what you need us to know, and be a light in the darkness, even in the darkness of quarantine. In your son's name that I'm praying. Mm -hmm. Good job.
Teresa. I ask that, I ask and pray that God spread his love and light on all the wonderful ladies in this group. Mm. And especially on Robin and Lee, who have brought us together in this perfect space where we can express our true faith and connection to God mm -hmm. without feeling any um, without feeling any any doubt or self-consciousness about it. I love that we can express our true love for God mm. in this pure and beautiful space. Mm. And I ask that God protect and keep all of us that we love and know and in our neighborhoods and our city safe mm -hmm. from this virus. Mm -hmm. And that we also come to understand that this too is good. It doesn't look good, but in the end, everything is good. And if it's not good, it's not the end. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Sure, Lord. Um, wow. I'm just, um, I'm just buzzing with just so much joy right now and just gratitude that we got to have this time together. Um, I just echo everything that Lee and Tracy said. We're just um, overflowing um, with gratitude and um, just so much, so much love. So grateful that we have this sisterhood here, um, this community where we can talk about things that really matter, Lord, that we can help each other navigate through difficult times, um, whether it's a quarantine or not, um, being a human. <laughs> is hard. And so um, I thank you so much for, like Lee said, the wisdom from uh, from Tracy and just the wisdom from all the ladies here sharing in the comments as well. And uh, I just I just pray for, for healing over Lee with this vertigo. Father, I pray that it would just be gone, um, that you would restore her balance um, in every way. I pray for blessings over Tracy's business. Thank you so much for giving her that vision those years ago and the courage to push through the way she did, Lord, to follow through and to really be obedient to what she felt called to and that she can now offer that in, in really such a life-changing way. And I don't say that lightly. Um, and thank you so much for that, Lord. And, and I, I just pray blessings over her business and her family and all those moms out there that are balancing um, homeschooling and working and just um, this time and uh, maybe just be a support to each other offline and online. Thank you for friends like Katie and April sharing their their journey and their hike, Lord, that we get to we get to share in that celebration, 225 miles, and and um, just all the ladies that come here every week. We thank you so much, and we ask just for more of that, Lord. Give us more opportunity to um, to shed that light and love, just like Tracy said. And uh, we're just so grateful today, and we're in awe of what you're doing. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Love you guys. Amen. So grateful. <laughs> Tracy, thank you so, so much. I know yeah. I'm just such a huge fan girl. I need to stop. But yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Tracy this and Tracy that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I make my husband jealous now. <laughs> All right, ladies, thanks for for joining us, Tracy. Thank you all for hanging in to the end. We love you. And um, we will, let's make a separate, post. why don't we start a thread? Um, Tracy, why don't you post on our page with the link to your page and then your, like, your favorite things under there? How's that sound? That sounds awesome. Okay, thanks. great. All don't right. Don't forget the half moon. Don't forget the half moon. Yes. <laughs> which my cat ate part of mine too. So <laughs> I know. Okay. All right. Love you all. all right. Have a great day. We love you. Bye. Peace, everybody. See ya. Peace. Thanks, Tracy. Thank, Thank you. you.